Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode one of season two of the My Team here on F123. Technically, in game at the minute, we are still season one because we haven't yet progressed to the new season, but I wanted to do that all on camera and be that as part of a bumper episode one of season two. It'll probably just be part 24, but it's episode one of season two. So the first thing that we've done is change the car livery for the new year. This will be our new livery moving forward. Black and gold has been the theme that we've gone for in season two in each of our most recent My Team saves. And black and gold is what we're going for again. And I think that looks particularly uh, special this year with that particular go-to metallic livery. We've got golden sponsors on the car as well. And a little bit of dash of white here and there which fits well with the hard tyres, albeit we probably won't be using the hard tyres that often as we progress forward. So we have our second driver already. We're waiting to see if Alonso retires or not. I don't know if he will or not. And we have a number of things in the works with regards to the R&D, but it's a case of just getting ourselves to the next season now. Now, I need driver acclaim as quickly as bloody possible to try and ensure that uh, I can add some more contracts on. I really want to get the driver claim boost. I really want to get the development feedback boost. So resource points are significantly boosted by 50%. But I need to be driver level 15 to do that. In a minute, I'm only 13. We've put a lot of effort our into... Our parts have completed without yes. issue. We've put a lot of effort into ensuring that our... Um, experience or focus? Focus. Thanks experience is good on Pierre Gasly already. We've put a lot of effort into ensuring that our... Yeah, Nico Hulkenberger's. Okay, so maybe it's just Nico that was like, I could have sworn Fernando Alonso was retiring. You're not currently in a rivalry. We have put a lot so of effort into ensuring that we are fully prepared for the next season and that we've started to use. improve towards the end of this year as well. We spent some money on our departments to too, so aerodynamics and chassis are up to uh, spec two. We'll look to get powertrain and durability up to spec two as well as we progress. But it is now time to finish the season and find out exactly where we'll end up for season two. Oh, and we're so close with all of the uh, end of season boosts to getting to level 15 that hopefully we should do it very, very soon indeed. Once we reach team acclaim level 20, we will have ourselves some, uh, some extra sponsorship on the car as well. We got the prize money. We only just managed to get that prize money. I didn't quite realize it was that important to get that sixth spot, but we did get that sixth spot. I got one pole position and 119 points. Pierre hopefully will perform significantly better next season. We're actually going to keep the same overalls for next year. I might change the the tone of yellow slightly to more of a gold, but the cash in our I'm quite happy with them as they are at the moment. So we are going to go again with a 23 race season. I might... We, we, we threw up the idea of uh, taking Las Vegas out and putting something else in, but... Las Vegas was so insane that you guys were absolutely certain that you wanted it to uh, to return. And I would like to go back to China. Baku feel is a track I love, but you guys know that so far this year it feels a little bit weird. So I'm tempted to take Baku out, but I'm also tempted to take Monaco out because I don't really like racing around Monaco. So this year I'll take Monaco out and we'll as China, but if in latter seasons you'd like to have Monaco back, then do let me know. But I don't, at the moment, feel like adding Portugal. I don't, I don't want to add France at all. I don't really like Paul Ricard, to be fair, so I'm not going to throw that in at all. We'll go with that 23 race season. China in for Monaco, and we're not going to make any other changes to anything. Team branding, livery select, team details, etc. We are as we are, and it's time to progress to season two we don't have anything else to change but we are now the fifth fastest team we've look at that yes that's what we were hoping was going to happen that's what we were hoping was going to happen when we prioritized our development that's gone particularly well we've shot up game on formula one world Game on. Right. Let's upgrade some of our stuff here to spec two as well with the money we've got now. And fingers crossed, it won't be long at all 
until we're challenging for podiums week in, week out. Build time by 20%. I'm going to do build time here. Spend some money there. We're going to do fabrication here. We're going to do resource point gain here. We're going to do build time there as well. We're also going to do quality control here. Oh, now we're cooking. We'll do resource point generation there to take that to spec two. And then I'll do quality control there to take that to spec two as well. We spent a lot of money there. But I feel like it's going to be worth it longer term focusing everywhere rather than just on the aero and the chassis. With regards to simulator, I'm quite happy with Pierre Gasly at the minute. I don't feel like I need to improve his stats at all. Pit stop improvement is something that we will look to do. But at the minute, I'm not sure whether two and a half million I can justify it. And then marketing wise, Team McLean 10% faster. Meh. I'm not bothered about upgrading the marketing department at all. We don't have many resource points at the moment. But let's get this stuff on here so that we can... Ooh, 500 grand. Tar very much. That will definitely start to help. Driver training camp. That will help Pierre as well. Fantastic. Durability upgrades are all going to pass. Let's go. Oh, we are now very much well and truly arrived as a Formula One side for season two. And this Bahrain Grand Prix could go significantly okay, better than it did last season. We have a look at the we'll season results. The season Grand one, we finished P11 in Bahrain. We have much loftier ambitions this time around. Fifth in the standings and right behind Ferrari if we're honest right behind Ferrari 1300 resource points available to me as well but I'm going to wait until we've been to this race weekend before we spend any of that but it won't be long before we look to spend some more money in aero or chassis as well but I do have to bear in mind that any second driver contracts we need to do now are going to be significantly more expensive so we are going to have to make sure of a, we want to keep Pierre Gasly. He's now 90 rated. We want to keep Pierre Gasly. Although that is with the boost that we've just given him. Uh, with the uh, activities. If we want to uh, keep a high quality team, we're going to need quite a bit of money available to do that. Let's go to the race weekend. Let's go and absolutely smash Bahrain. Fernando hasn't retired. And we're ready to get on track for the start of season Alex, two. Welcome to the new season. We'll have two practice sessions. We've completely done everything that we wanted to do, practice-wise. So, we're going to maximise our resource points, which we need, actually, because everything is getting significantly expensive now. Like, 1,700 points without any deductions expensive. So, it's going to take longer to advance the car a little bit further. So, we've, we've kind of leapt to where we are now. It's going to be more of a slog as it should be, to get from the top of the midfield to the top of the table. It's significantly more difficult to get yourself from where we are currently in that R&D progress to where Aston Martin and Red Bull are. As you can see from the uh, the parts here, that I can't even do yet because I need spec 3. But 1,649 with a 3% discount. I need some of these discounts to kick in because at the minute... Oh! Stuff is pricey! I'm quite happy to do some of the engine stuff. It's the chassis that is the worst on the on the grid still. But the chassis at the minute is the thing that's joint most expensive. We get the uh, the ERS done. Engine power is obviously going to be important. At the minute, though, apparently we have the best engine on the grid. Thank you, Mercedes. I appreciate that very much. That's why we stuck with you from season to season. Durability hopefully won't be too much of an issue. But I am going to start concentrating on weight... Uh, weight redistribution and obviously we've just done the tyre wear one as well over the next few weeks chassis is kind of halfway in most, drag reduction is nearly all the way as well so we're doing alright on the aero side but chassis is really lagging behind at the moment powertrain wise we're really strong durability wise we're not strong at all but the minute we don't feel like we need to be so we are going to, I'd like to think going to be challenging for podiums at the beginning of the season, and maybe race wins at the end of the season, if the upwards trajectory can go as we hope that it will. We'll wait and see.
qualifying will be a good indicator of where exactly we genuinely are. Because sometimes this performance index comparison isn't actually the best. As you will know from seeing Aston Martin nowhere near the front in any of our previous, uh, previous Grand Prix. Obviously, there have been driver changes. If you missed them from the uh, episode last season, Fernando Alonso is now Alfa Romeo. Lance Stroll is now Alfa Tauri. Pierre Gasly is with me. Bottas is at Alpine. Piastri's at Haas. Tsunoda's at Aston Martin. Uh, Iwasa is now at Alpha Tauri. Nick De Vries is at McLaren. And Liam Lawson is at Aston Martin. So, big shake-up between seasons, but not at the very front of the grid. Hopefully, though, that includes us qualifying. 29.6 is good enough for P9. I mean, it, on paper, for the R&D index, that's about where we should be. But I'm actually a little bit disappointed with that. It wasn't a great lap. To be fair, I'm only, even though Pierre's in 13th, there's only a 10th between us. So that midfield is clearly very tight still. And there's, rather evidently, significantly still a jump to the front three teams. Aston Martin performing well. Not spectacularly, considering they, on paper, have the best car. But Yuki and Liam Lawson aren't necessarily the best drivers. So maybe that's why. But even Fernando in that car last season wasn't doing that well. All right. Q3 is definitely a possibility for one of our two cars. I have a horrible feeling Pierre Gasly might not make it. I might not make it as well. Four tenths up on Lando. After two sectors, we should be good here for... A low 29. We might. Uh, I think it's going to be like a 29.1 maybe. A 29.2. 29.162 I think that was. Or a 169. Good enough for P8. So consistent performance. In the uh, back end of the top 10. In qualifying pace. Pierre stays P14. And doesn't improve. There is more pace in that car with Pierre. I do believe he was held up on his second push lap by an Alpine. Hopefully Pierre can provide us with some points from somewhere else other than just my side of the garage this season. But he's going to need to be better than that if we are to do so. They are into the 28s and significantly so with Carlos. Yuki Sonoda! 28.87. All right. I take back what I said about Yuki and the Aston Martin not quite being fast enough. Yuki means business this year, it seems. Damn. George is a 29 flat. We might be able to get into a 28 if I can get the final turn right. So, I think I did. We're in the 28s here for sure. It's a 28-7. Definitely the best lap we've done all weekend. Good enough for P6 in Q3. Significant improvement. In the final lap, every session getting that little bit quicker. The, progr the progress is there. Yuki in P5. Lewis with a 28-1 is just lightning fast and miles away from anyone else. George didn't improve from his... Well, he did a 29-1 and then a 29 flat. So not massive improvements there for him. Liam Lawson well off the pace. Charles Leclerc well off the pace as well as Max Verstappen. Expect them to be quicker in the race than they have been in qualifying. But oof. We'll see what we can do on strategy. We're only three tenths off P2. So there is a chance of a podium here, but we do have some faster cars behind us. Well, one imagines that there's no penalties on race day one. There weren't any retirements in practice or in qualifying that we're aware of. Anyway, so we should still be P6 as we line up here. Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes Ocon. is very, very fast. Ocon in P4 in the Alpine as well is a really, really good result. But Russell, Verstappen and Leclerc behind are going to be very, very quick. Hoping that Gasly can make some moves forward from there. I think he got impeded on his final run. So Gasly might be point scoring at the end of this race. There you go. Nick De Vries in the McLaren now at the very back of the grid. Different car, same grid position. Sorry, Nick. No Daniel Ricciardo in F123 at this stage. He's recommending okay, four laps of extra fuel. Four laps? Are you sure? Quite happy to go medium, medium, soft. 
number of others on mediums, only a couple of softs, a couple on the hards, both alphas on the hards, everybody at the back of the grid on soft tyres. Four laps of extra fuel is surely far, far too much. Far too much. I'm going to take considerable fuel out of that. I won't go too mad with it. I'll still give myself like two and a half laps just in case with it being a new season. Still the same engine, but with it being a new season, just in case it's somehow incredibly uh, worsened with regards to its fuel efficiency, which it really shouldn't have. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. We will go medium, medium, soft, though. It certainly seems like the best way to go. So let's go race. Here we go. Oh, Esteban's a really slow starter, as is Carlos Sainz. Ooh, squeezing me towards the wall. Tsunoda with a quick start, and George Russell as well, both on soft stop. The car stopped. We're all right. We're up to P4. I've still got the Mercedes on the inside of me, though. Having to be careful there. Tsunoda with a very, very quick start on those softs. Russell is right with me. It was more Sainz and Ocon really just not getting off the mark there. Russell is throwing up the inside of me here at turn four. But we are going to keep position for now. But Tsunoda's already right on the back of Sergio Perez. Yuki in that Aston Martin is going to be a weapon this season. Jeez. What an opening round to the season he's having so far. Let's wait and see how it ends. But okay, is Yuki Tsunoda going to be a championship rival this season? Who knows? Certainly on the first Saturday and one lap of Sunday's evidence. Yes. I want to try and stick with Yuki if I can. That gap to the DRS range is not very not very big at the minute. But George is already interested in the back of me. I might be best served and actually letting George go and trying to get dragged along with him. It was a purple sector one though from us, so there's obviously pace in the car in these early stages. It's just a case of whether I can extract it for a, f a full lap and then maintain consistent spells after that. Yuki is continually about 1.1 seconds away, which is painful because it needs to be under a second for me to get DRS. I'm not going to have DRS on Yuki, that's for sure. I'm not just going to waste my battery for the sake of it. I'd rather save it to now defend to George behind, who is um, probably going to be undefendable here, as you can see. And that's even without DRS yet. <laughs> Georgie's a bit quick in a straight line. Oh, my Lord. Right. Operation cling on to the back of George Russell is well underway. And now I have DRS, which is nice. So let's cling on to the back of George Russell and hope that these soft runners and the very fast front two can drag us away from Sainz and Verstappen behind. I didn't have DRS on George into turn one, but Sainz now has it on me. And Carlos is going to nip in here. I can try and hold it around the outside, maybe. Which we have done. Ooh, that was a little bit shaky, a little bit scary, but we got it done. Sorry, Carlos. Now we've all lost time on George Russell. So let's try and close up on these front three again. Or front four, as it happens. Lewis is just disappearing. It seems like this is his weekend. He was a couple of tenths faster than anyone in qualifying. And he appears to have that sort of pace in the race as well. Okay, gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. Hi, Carlos. Mm. It does mean I'll get DRS down to turn four, though. So we could take this position back. Tsunoda is having a real big old battle with George Russell. And it's, a, at the minute, a battle that George Russell is winning. Russell up to P3 now. Not able to get Carlos Sainz back, evidently, into turn four. Got a bad run out of one and two. Cannot afford to get dropped by this front six. Stick with these six. We have a chance later in the race. But we are going to have to stick with these guys. I say six, including Max Verstappen, who's currently P7. Because, well, it's Max Verstappen in a Red Bull. You can't not factor him in at any point in any race ever, really, can you? <laughs> Do I? I'm gonna. I shouldn't have. Oh, oh, thank the Lord he saw me coming. That was too risky a move, really. Ah, but 
we've gotten it done. And I had to knock Carlos Sainz, well not knock him, but artificially push him a little bit wide through turns five and six. And as a result, Max Verstappen has nicked through as well. We're starting to lose Russell and Co in front. And Russell has taken Checo as well. So it's now a Mercedes 1-2. Is a tyre difference, of course. Russell on the softs, Perez on the mediums. But still, that Mercedes so far this weekend appears like it's going to be the car to beat this season. At least in the early stages, anyway. Max is very keen in the back of my car. Luckily for me, he's overtaken just before the DRS line. Oh, and he's very slow on the apex. Come on, you can it was close to front wing back. damage. We will win that place back because... Oh, he's gone very defensive. But we've got DRS now. Could even... Toy with him. Let him get across the line first, then go deep. And then I'll get DRS here. And I've got the position as well. Bye, Max. A bit of gamesmanship. Hopefully I can keep this position moving forward. But those front four are continually getting further and further away as we continue to battle with Carlos and Max. Which isn't great. Max is currently too worried with Carlos Sainz behind to think about me at the moment. Okay, gap to the car ahead is two and how far Yuki gets on his softs might determine whether we go mediums or softs next. I have a funny feeling the soft eyes aren't going to last that long. So medium, it might be a case of actually extending both medium sets and running a shorter, a shorter soft stint. I'm not sure yet. Play it by ear. Fuel is fine though. We did up it back to uh, three laps worth of extra fuel. So we have used an extra half a lap's worth of fuel so far. Which is really peculiar because from the race strategy... Uh, practice program it said we were actually under expected fuel usage unless expected fuel usage was three or four laps worth of extra fuel seems very very high but it is what it is we're managing it well enough so far and there's always the opportunity to save fuel a little bit later if we need to and use the ERS to our advantage to do so a minute though holding about a two and a half second gap to Yuki and Holding Max and Carlos behind by about half a second so far. Max is going to have me here. Again, though, allowing us to get DRS for this part of the track. So maybe we can take that position back again. Didn't want to be quite so gung-ho. We've learned our lesson from that Carlos Sainz move. That just wasn't the right thing to do in that situation. Just as it wasn't last time. <laughs> I got away. I got lucky with it once. I'm not going to get lucky with it twice. It's got front wing damage written all over it. Gap between Max and Yuki now is is coming down, actually. We're about the same distance behind Yuki now as we were even when we were in front of Max. So... It's starting to fall further back now. Oliver, thank you for the 28th month, mate. A 19-month streak. Glad you joined the F1 save, mate. Me too. I'm going to use some battery here to try and stay within DRS of him. Because he's on a move. I don't know whether it's because the Red Bull's better on its tyres than we are, or whether he's just it's just genuinely that much faster than us. But he's, um, he's having a go. And we might just have nipped under a second there. To get DRS here. We did just. That was important. We've gapped Carlos Sainz as well. Sainz's tyres are starting to go. Yuki's tyres are definitely going. And we're going to try and cling on to Max Verstappen if we can. Max is making a push for a podium. But those Mercedes are gone. Yuki might even be pitting soon. Wait for it. There you go. There goes the Red Bull on the move. Just to say thank you to Sam for an eighth month subscribed on Twitch. Appreciate it, mate. Verstappen up into P4. It's now Mercedes, Mercedes, Red Bull, Red Bull. Now, annoyingly, Yuki's going to get dragged along by Max rather than dragged along by Checo. As soon as he fell off the back of Checo, we started closing. He's going to be able to hang on to the back of Max as well. 
Hopefully his tyres are so far gone okay, here's the gap that, we're that he can't cling on to Max. I couldn't cling on to Max. Seconds. So certainly, I don't think Yuki on soft tyres, even more worn soft tyres, is going to be able to do the same. The gap's already seven tenths between the two of them. In the performance index, we're really not that far behind Ferrari at all. We're quite similar to them, so it's no surprise that we're actually able to keep Carlos Sainz at bay as well as we have done. I'm really surprised that Yuki's going as far as he is on his softs, but I guess whilst he's been dragged along by the Red Bull, whichever Red Bull it is, he might as well extend this stint. Why not? In fact, it, he almost had a look at Max there, I think. I think he pulled out from behind the Red Bull. Is Yuki somehow finding even more pace now? I'm not sure. He just lost half a second there on the exit of two, so I think the back end stepped on him and those soft tyres are like, hang on a minute, Yuki-san. We're, uh, we're not as grippy as you think we might be at this stage of the race. We'll be stopping in two laps time, or two and a half laps time. To put on another set of mediums, I think. Although Yuki proving that those softs can go quite away if you're able to stick in someone's DRS. But I don't know how confident I am of being able to stick in anyone's DRS, to be honest. So... I probably will still go mediums next. Okay, yellow flags behind. Not sure what for. It's McLaren going slowly. Lando's retiring. Because that'll be Lando, not Nick De Vries. And that's going to be Pierre Gasly up a position. So my teammate is one step closer to some points. But at the minute, not yet in them still. Oh, my tyres are starting to tell me that they are not happy at the back. I haven't checked their percentage for a little while. And I wish I hadn't. Early 30s is certainly why they're getting quite wheel spinny right now. To be fair, as much as we're saying Yuki's getting a very good stint out of his softs, I forget George Russell is on softs on his Mercedes as well. And he's actually closed the gap to Lewis. George is doing a very, very good stint. Yuki now pits on lap 18. We're going to pit on lap 19 for a set of medium tyres again, so Yuki's done brilliantly to make that set go as far as they have, and we're now going to pit this next lap for another set of yellow striped medium tyres to try and hopefully eventually, at the end of the race, on softs get past the Aston Martin I'm hoping as loads of other cars are pitting now that'll be those soft runners from the back I'm hoping Max well, certainly one of the Red Bulls is going to stay out one more lap. Even if they've got the same pit strategy as me, one of them is going to stay out longer because they're not going to double stack. So we're going to be able to undercut on at least one of the Red Bulls and hopefully one of the Mercedes as well. But by how much, I don't know. George has basically done our medium stint on soft tyres, which is remarkable. We're definitely going to box. The two Alpines are seemingly holding up Liam Lawson and Charles Leclerc just cannot seem to get past either of them at the minute. They continue on. All right. No, George is in. George is in. It's undercut time. Undercut time. Come on, then. George's gone softs again. George is going soft, soft. Mother Humper, how's he doing that? Okay, let's go. Now. What I seen behind me as well. Perfect. Gasly now P10. There, like P9. Nice go on, Pierre. Now that. make some time if you can. Sunoda's gone to hards. I didn't realise Yuki. Oh no, yeah, Luke, Yuki bit last lap, didn't he? But Yuki's gone to hards. It's Yuki one stopping. Okay, Soft to hard. That would be a really okay, strange way to go about it because those hards don't last much. One yeah. Those, those hards don't last much longer than the mediums. So Yuki's just thrown his... Unless he's going soft, hard, soft. Yuki's just thrown away, surely, what would have been a really strong result for him. Because that hard tyre only lasts about five laps longer than the medium, but is about three tenths of a second at least slower than the medium. So Yuki's going to be, again though, he's got bloody DRS on someone else. This time it's my teammate. Yuki's getting very lucky in this Grand Prix right now. But if he is going to 
If he is going to soft hard soft or soft hard medium, then certainly in this middle stint we'll be faster than him. And if he does go soft hard medium, then in the end stint we'll be faster than him as well when we are on our softs. We're going to get strong points today, but I don't know whether we're going to get a podium or not. I don't think so. Seventh at least. Hopefully fifth, fourth or fifth. As Pierre now picks. As does Charles Leclerc and one of the Alpines in Esteban Ocon and Liam Lawson in the other, Aston Martin. And Verstappen's come out in front of me as well. The gap is closer than it was. 2.3 seconds now rather than the 3.8 that it was, but... Max has responded to our pit stop a lap later and been able to maintain position. So Checo and Carlos Sainz in the pits now then. So we've got two laps worth of undercut on both of those. And hopefully it's good enough to stay ahead of Sainz and maybe take Perez. Yes, we have undercut Sergio Perez. We are now P5 in this Grand Prix, although it is rather close as you can see behind. But... We're out of DRS range of him. And Yuki's getting closer and closer as well. So I think we might be on for a P4 finish today. As it stands right now. Which would be a phenomenal way to start this second season. He's got the move done. Hopefully they continue to scrap all the way down the straight. Yuki might have DRS on him here. I think he does. So Yuki might take the position back again. And he has done. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, fight, fight. Get me in DRS range of the two of you. Fight, 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 fight. Max takes the position. Max holds the position. And Yuki is so very nearly within touching distance. That should be good enough. This will be P4 for us. Go defensive, go defensive. Thank you. He'll get through the detection point first, so I can swoop one way and swoop the other, get a much better run onto this part of the track, and then around the outside of turn four if I have to, we'll get the job done. There you go. We played Yuki perfectly there. All right. All right. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Not quite such an easy taking of P4, it seems. Our tyres are getting perilously close to that 25% drop-off mark. So our pace is going to get worse from here on out for the rest of the stint. Fine. We think we're going to undercut Yugi and everyone else around us. So I'm still happy being where we are right now. We're not going to stand any chance of getting a podium today without a retirement or a safety car. But going on to soft tyres next and hopefully earlier than anyone else pits. Right, we, need to get past here. Use overtake. we should be Use still overtake. good for a P4 with a good strong, under t uh, good strong uh, undercut at the end of the race. Yuki's pitting now. He's definitely hard, medium, harding then, surely. Sorry, hard. He's definitely medium, hard, mediuming, surely. There's no way Yuki put softs on now to go to the end, surely. We're not pitting till lap 39, was it? Lap 39. It's going to get a decent undercut, though, Yuki. Hmm. I don't really want to respond to that with a set of hard tyres. I'm still feeling like I want to wait and go onto the softs. But I do want to see what Yuki's come out on. Yeah, he's soft, hard, mediuming. Okay. Placing that medium set is going to be good. We're not paying for another three laps for those softs. Hmm. I don't know how 
this is going to play out in a minute. I think it's still a four-way fight. 4p4. Four four. Right, so we undercut Max by a single lap. Last round of pit stops. Hopefully, it's by a little bit more now. We're going to be going on to a set of soft tyres to the end. George is going to take us. And we'll see what we can do on this final soft set with at least holding on to P4, if not taking it okay, go, go, go. a step Perfect further and maybe looking at Max Verstappen. That. That's Lewis going round now. Lewis is not pitting. What's Max going to do? Stay out, Max. Stay out, stay out, stay out, stay out. He has. Max stays out. The undercut is on. If I can get past Doc on and Liam Lawson sharpishly, which we will do, that's Ocon dealt with, and it'll be Lawson with DRS down the main straight, if not into turn four, we hope. In fact, nobody of that lot in front of us pit. Yuki got a massive undercut, though. Look, he's in turn one already. Now Pierre's in. Good final stint for him, hopefully, and maybe there's the outside chance Pierre of a point. Is in for his stop now. That one was a, a bit more on than the Saints one. Still from a long way back, but okay, with a tyre advantage, ahead, we needed to get it done then and there, really. 4.6 to Yuki. Hmm, we need to stop thinking about Max Verstappen at the minute. Keep, keep our eyes firmly set on just getting Yuki Sonoda at the moment. And if Max stays out again, as Lewis doesn't, and Max is also in. So a two-lap undercut on Max Verstappen. What sort of dent is that going to make on what was a 5.2-second advantage? We will get DRS on the back of Leclerc as well, which will help. I'm pretty sure Max is going to come out two or three seconds still down the road. Don't pit, don't pit. Oh, all right. That was close. Fastest lap of the race over the 131 flat. There is Max Verstappen. He's on hards. All right. We need to... Oh, Valtteri, how dare you? <laughs> we need to make hay. Or make hay, Stephen. Now that we've got the softer compound on, because ours are not going to last that long. So I need to make these overtakes now. Okay, so we'll and then try and hold on at the end of the race. Sainz and Perez in the pits now. It's going to be a relatively straightforward pass on Max. Another fastest lap of the race for us. Max is fighting, but we broke slightly early. So I got the DRS and then went deeper on the brakes afterwards. Let off the brakes after initially braking. Let him over the line first so that we could then get it. And the gap to Yuki is two and a half. If we can close down on Yuki, a podium is on. If we can then subsequently hold on on a worn soft tyre till the end of the race. Which is going to be very, very tough. Nigh on impossible, really. But we'll give it a go. We're obviously not planning on stopping again, but if we do, if there's a safety car, I think fresh hards would be faster than our current worn softs or the worn softs that we could maybe put on instead. But we've seen throughout this race so far how hard Yuki has been to A, pass, and then B, stay ahead of. So... This P4 isn't even safe with Max behind, let alone a P3 if we can take Yuki. But you'd like to think that we'll certainly finish top five with the gap of... Nearly makes no difference, 12 seconds to Sergio Perez now. I mean, there are still 13 laps to go, so Price knows. I'm not concerned about now, it's taking Yuki Sonoda. See you, pal. His top end is so fast, Yuki. Do the same to him that we did to Max, though. 
I'm going to hear us for this bit. And Tati buys. Oh, Max is having a go at Yuki as well. Look out. Might even have a go at me. I've got to be careful. I'll run a little bit wide just to sure that Max has enough space to make the car stop, which he does. He's taken Yuki as well. And now what was going to be an easier defend of Yuki on hards, sorry, Yuki on mediums, wearing, is now going to be even more difficult of Max on medium, Max on hards. I don't know about this P3 at the minute. We're into a podium position, but I don't know for how much longer. 11 laps to go. That 25% drop off just is so immediate. Look at it. That's with battery. Max might have had. DRS there, or someone might, Max might have let he me have DRS there. He didn't, so he'll get me again here. We'll try and save some fuel in his slipstream. I'm going to employ the old Yuki Tsunoda technique of hang on in someone's DRS to help you defend from the car behind. A P4 in race one of season two bodes well for a strong year. Maybe not quite as strong to challenge for a championship. Maybe not strong enough to challenge for a championship, but certainly maybe by the halfway point of the season, if we get enough resource points and we grow well enough, we might be able to put up a challenge for some wins at the end of the season. That would be the dream. Certainly, we're going to be there or thereabouts nearly every week. Judging by last season's form, apart from Mexico. <laughs> Although, China is going to be an unknown this year, of course. Having taken Monaco out and putting China in. Not sure how well we'll go around there. Did it in an online lobby's save. Online lobby save. An open lobby's stream the other day. Very much enjoyed driving around Canada. Canada? What are we talking about, says? China, but wasn't necessarily that fast. You can see the fuel light is flashing at me, bottom left. 0.03 laps worth of fuel left. Helped out by a braking zone, not helped out by over revving and spinning the rear tires. 0.02 laps. Oh God! I'm gonna have to fuel save into the last corner, I think. Lewis Hamilton wins the opening race of the season. It's a 1-2 for Mercedes. I am going to have to fuel save into the last corner. By the skin of our teeth. We hold on to P4. Max Verstappen disappeared. But that's a wonderful start to the year. Sorry, Yuki. Yuki in that Aston Martin is going to be a challenger this season as well for podiums, isn't he? He was a quick boy in that Grand Prix. Woo! There he is. <laughs> as if... By magic, George gets driver of the day. Started 7th or 8th, was it? 7th, I think, just behind me, wasn't he, to my left. And Yuki started in 5th when we started 6th. So George goes from P6 to P2 to get the first driver of the day of the new season. But the new livery, the new car. Fastest lap as well. Only just, I think. But, oh, actually, no. By quite a way. Because we're the only ones, really, to go to soft tyres at the end, other than Pierre Gasly. Who, in the end, finished P12. He did step forward. Hopefully, he was impeded on his... Get to level 15. Oh, you're so close. Come on. Hopefully Pierre was impeded on his quali lap, meaning that in Saudi Arabia next time out, he's going to be a little bit quicker. I hope. Pierre, please, you need to be a bit quicker. Maybe I do need to invest in some of the personnel stuff to ensure that he gets a little bit quicker. Maybe that's the way to get some more out of my teammate. Certainly could do some stimulator training with him as well. Driver acclaim. Oh, that might take me to 15. That might take me to 15. Uh, let's do chassis. And oh, I don't really want to affect the department of... Defect, uh, affect the morale of any other department. So that might be it for now. What is this going to do? Pick a... Oh, God. Um, neither of the Red Bulls. We'll go Charles Leclerc. We significantly outperformed him in Abu Dhabi. We did finish ahead of Sergio Perez. But 
on the performance index, our car is certainly much closer to the Ferrari than it is the Red Bull. Is anything going to pass for Abu Dhabi? It's not. Mm, that's annoying. What we can do, though, is spend some money. So let's do that. Let's spend some money on the facilities and actually try and get Pierre to be a bit faster. So we'll spend some on the pace. We'll spend some on the fitness center and the analysis suite as well, because it's not actually that much that we're spending there. That'll all be done before the next Grand Prix as well, which is good news. Right. Uh, how much was that for just all acclaim? Three mil? No, I'm good. Am I at driver level 15 yet? Did I make it? No! Ah, come on! Hopefully, maybe... With the driver promotion filming, driver acclaim's gone up 100. Is that enough? Everything's passing so far! That's fantastic news. Money coming in as well. Please tell me I'm driver level 15. I'm not yet. We're going to have to go through the whole Saudi Arabian weekend before we're driver level 15. That will draw us to a close for now then. We are not going to improve any further. I hope that nobody else jumps us as we get to Saudi Arabia. So sh we should, fingers crossed, be challenging for good points and or a podium again. And hopefully Pierre Gasly will uh, be significantly better. This next weekend, in fact, if I do the Pirelli hot lap, I might be able to get myself to driver level 15. So I might just do that. If at the beginning of the next episode, I'm driver level 15, that means that in between episodes, I've done that hot lap and I've managed to get myself the driver acclaim. That'll do for this YouTube video, though. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more. More F1 Manager is on the way very soon as well as is more F123, of course. On the main channel, we've had a couple of very important videos go live with regards to the new EA Sports football game. Of course, not FIFA, FC24 coming at the end of September. So check the main channel for that. And probably by the time you see this, well, maybe not. Certainly within the next couple of days of this going live, episode one of the brand new FIFA 23 save with Sheffield United will be up as well. So we're back to full guns again after... Uh, three or four days of feeling like absolute shite, to be completely honest. But hopefully I'll be all right in the morning, which is when I'll see you. Bye-bye.